Stacy and Mick were lovers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a brand new calf winch. These things are rad. Um, we've got a lovely lady here who's in trouble. She got a little speckly in her. Speckly, 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 deckly. Sweet. Get this to you tonight. Beauty, beauty. Either end will work. That end can go in the loop there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, cool, cool. Got enough there for it? See you. Yeah, I'll give you this day and I'll put some chains on. Oh, for the benefit of those watching, I'll kind of talk you through some stuff that I do. Um, take, I like long chains, brother and sister. Big calf, feet are crossed, which is a bad sign. You want some lube in? Oh, uh, she's full of lube to herself, so sure. I think I'm okay. So I'm just gonna bang this one on this one. And then I try to get it up over, well over the fetlock, and then do a half hitch uh, around the fetlock itself. She's still pushing, which is a good sign. So the gig on intervention is they'll, they'll start, stage one is from, from when they start thinking about having a baby until they, uh, until the bag shows up and uh, that shouldn't be more than about eight hours. Generally if it's more than 12 I'll, I'll intervene so when you see a cow walking the fence, this is for the people watching this, you guys already know it's because you're legends. But um, if, they, if a cow's off on her own for more than 12 hours I'll, I'll bring it and put a hand in it. Sometimes there's a calf backwards in it. Stage two is from when the bag shows up until the calf is again. That should take, yeah, that's a big calf. That's got to take less don't, than don't. Um, two hours. Half hour each time, are they yelling, are they? Jess is out. Are she? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Came out here to pick up a dog and got <laughs> involved in a cat. Have they got her? Yeah, uh, she's sort of trying to put her up. <laughs> She'll be all right, mate. Right, so I've got that one on that foot. Hook the other one, then between you and I, if we can start this thing with our with our decent strength, then we can pull it. If we can't start it with man strength, yeah, then we probably should go to the side. Yep. Got and so tools. we've got hooks in the bucket down here. If you want them, I've got some big ass spatter. I got some hooks that I like better. Okay. Are those the little hooks? Or the... Yeah, they. Can you get these from us? You can really diesel on these bad boys. Yeah, okay. I can. That. We're gonna get the two hands on it and you can yeah, yeah. Everybody put some boogie on it. I hate those little handles. Because they're soft gurney hands. <laughs> <laughs> they make them hurt. <laughs> this is like started. And then, um, okay, so then stage two should take more than, less, less than two hours total. So less than two hours intervene, or more than two hours intervene. And then they should make progress every half hour. So if you get out of the paddock and you see some nose and some feet. If you come back half an hour, 45 minutes later, and there's no progress, probably worth a while getting ready. Give it another crack. And then what I do with these feet is I take it and make a double half, a half inch like this and go up over the, right up over the, just where those dew claws are. And it just spreads the load out a bit so you don't break their leg. These guys are 
Also, you can get your hand around their head pretty easily. They're in good shape. Ahead and load, pull that, pull it right with that, and then I'll give us a little bit of a. When she's pushing, I'm gonna give a bit of a pull. Okay, when she pushes, we give a bit of a pull. Okay, I'll switch it on, give a bit of a pull. Cool, ready? When she pushes, pull. All right, when she pushes, pull. Okay, then we're gonna end up one. Go ahead and unplate, take one leg off. Okay, go ahead and load up, brother. Pull, load, put load on it. I'm gonna turn this thing as you're pulling. Here we're rolling it. Keep it from hip lock. Otherwise, I get stuck in the hips. Hey, little buddy. Little boy, as you knew it would be. Hello, mate. Gotta get into the real world. Oh, not the glasses. No, not the glasses, son of a buck. <laughs> Come on here, little fella. He's a beautiful little guy, isn't he? Yeah. With that roll on the hips at that last bit, once the head's through is when you got to do it, that's critical. Otherwise, they get locked in the pelvis, and then it's kind of done. Then I get a little bit of Can I get them spread out like that? Get them dog sitting. That, that keeps their lungs in the, in the way they like to work. And then just give them a little bit of a stimulate, a little rub. Oh, cool. Check out mom. Got a bit of a vaginal tear there. I can see. Tears and spares, make sure there's no extras. Load up with some antibiotics, some syntocin, some, some anti inflammatories. Yay, high fives, brother. Sick. Wiggy. 